Chipmunks movie when he goes into the casino and randomly wins all that money? I don't get it. How do people play these complicated games? Bro, move on. I'll give you the basics. We're having a casino night at my school, and like last year, no one's gonna go near the craps table, so you and me can have it out. Great! Wait, did I just invite you to my school casino night? Yep, and you cannot take it back. And you're sure you haven't played this before? Nope, never heard of it till the cartoons. Wait, so we can actually bet money? Well, no. We get chips at school and whoever ends up with the most wins. Usually that means one kid goes around and collects all the chips from all the other kids and then turns them in for a $50 Target gift card. But I have something much better in mind. What? We play and wager our flavor-blasted jellyfish crackers. No, 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 no. I heard that Salt Ridge Farms are going to go out of this for six months. Hmm. You'll do fine. It's an easy game. Hmm. Okay, Miss Dealer. We would like to play this game. Well, thank goodness someone wants to play. Every year they tell the organizers that no one knows how to play this game or Baccarat, but they still bring out this old table. Why would someone want to play with the back of a rat? Focus on the task at hand. Miss Dealer, would you be so kind to manage our chips and dice? Well, I'm actually on break, so you guys can do whatever you want. Just don't take any of the chips off the table. It messes up the lottery at the end. Now, are you sure you haven't played this game before? Nope, never heard of it. Well, this is how you play. You roll a six and one, that's a seven, that's a natural, you win. You roll a five and a two, that's a seven, that's a natural, you win. You roll a four and a three, that's a seven, that's a natural, you win. Hmm. All you do is win. Well, no, you can lose two. You see, if you roll a two, a three, or twelve on your first roll, then you lose. Okay, put some fish down and I'll show you. Okay. Seven! Ha! I win! That was really fun. Let's play again. You have to bet again. Oh, press it. What do you mean, press it? Are you 
you sure you haven't played this game before? Uh, no. Um, Alvin and the Chipmunks, remember. Okay, okay. Eleven. You said nothing about eleven. Oh, those are just a few extra numbers on the dice. Don't pay any attention to them. <laughs> Don't mean anything. Seven! Woohoo! I win again! Are you sure you haven't played this before? Nope, just heard it in chipwreck. Talking chipmunks. Put your bet down again. I'll let it ride. What? How do you know that? Uh, Alvin? Never mind that. Run those dice. Let them breathe! Let them breathe! You're choking up those dice! Eight. Now what? You just have to roll an eight before a seven. That should be easy. Five. You lose. What? How? What'd you roll the first time? Five. What'd you roll the second time? Two. Five plus two equals seven. You lose. What? You didn't say nothing about Adam up. I'm sorry, bro, but that's how the game is played. Now it's my turn to roll the dice. This time, you have to wager your fish. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's wager all of our fish. Fine. Okay, there's a five. I got this. Two! Ha! I win! What? How? What do you roll the first time? Five. What do you roll the second time? Two. Five plus two is seven out. Line away. Pay the don'ts. What a haul. Yeah, this is no good. When the dealer came back, she said we weren't playing it right. And I suspect you knew how to play the game right. Come on, out with it. <sighs> Fine, I may have altered the rules a tad bit, but I did play by those same rules. And you have to admit, you did know how to play. Well, yeah, yeah, but if you played fairly, maybe not all of the Daily Space Crackers would be in my possession. Plus, I only knew the basics of the game. Okay, okay, how about this? I teach you how to play, and we split the crackers. Okay, deal. Just for the record, there would be no chance I would be taking that deal. I'll be giving you a simple tutorial on how to play Casino Craps. After this, you'll have a basic understanding of how to play the game. This recording was broken up into three sections. The crew, which you just saw, the basic gameplay, and the place bets and past line odds payouts. Before we start, a little brief disclaimer. This money is fake and these chips are worth no value. You can find them online or at game retailers. All you really need is a pair of six-sided dice, a deck of cards, and anything to be used as a large marker. I'm using this tiny blue box. Now pull out the four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10 and set the rest of the deck aside. And let's lay them out this way. Craps is based on the number seven. 
There are six ways to make a seven. Seven is the most common number that occurs. Keep that in mind. To start, we need to change the currency into chips. Simply lay your money down on the table and notify the dealer that you want to buy in for whatever you put down. They will give you a stack of chips that consists of ones, fives, and twenty-fives. Use these to play the game. The game is usually played in increments of five to make the math clean. So our table will be a five-dollar minimum bet. A new game starts when there is no point established. Players who want to join put money on the pass line for the come-out roll. On the first roll only, to win you want the dice to show seven or eleven, and you'll be paid the exact amount on the pass line. If the dice shows two, three, or twelve, you will lose your pass line bet. And in either case, the game starts over. There are eleven total numbers that can show. What happens if there isn't a two, three, seven, eleven, or twelve? Well, any of these numbers become what is called the point. From then on, the objective of the game is to roll the point number before you roll a seven. All the other numbers do not matter once the point is established. Either you roll the point number and you win, or you roll a seven and you lose, and the game is over. So let's do a couple demonstrations with our little setup, and you can follow along at home. So you rolled an eight. Let's cover the eight. Then we rolled a six. Then a twelve, and then an eight. We win. Now let's see the next one. We rolled a nine. Let's cover the nine. We rolled a five, ten, and a seven. All、oh, we lost. To recap, that's the most basic form of gameplay. The first roll is called the come out roll, and if you roll a seven and eleven, you win. But if you roll a two, three, or twelve, you lose. Anything else, you just have to roll the number before you roll the seven. You may be wondering, Sissy Wussy. There are a lot more numbers on this layout than what you talked about. What are they? Let's have a little tour. Here is the pass line. This is where you put your bet at the beginning of the game, and you cannot remove it from this place until the end of the game, from a win or a loss. Now over here we have the field. This is a one-roll bet, and you can win this in sixteen ways. Then down here we have the big six and the big eight. This. Is a bet that pays one to one, and there are better ways to play the six and eight, and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Over here, we have the come, don't come, and don't pass bar. These are not terribly difficult to play, but they are a more advanced way in playing the game. But we won't be talking about it right now. On the top here, we have what is usually called the place bets. This means that you directly place a bet on a number, and if it rolls, then you get a set amount. The one key to these bets is when you place your chips on the table, you have to make sure you tell the dealer what number you want your bet on. And based on where you're standing is where the bet will be placed on the little square. So when you have multiple bets, you'll be able to tell which are yours and which are the other players. So typically, this bet is inactive during the come out roll, and the dealer will ask you if you're working or not working. And if you're working, then the bet will win and lose as usual. But if you're not working, the bet will neither win or lose based on the dice roll. Moving on to the middle of the layout, we have the prop bets. These are one roll bets where certain numbers or combinations of numbers are rolled. Now these have different payout rules, but you have to keep in mind these are also one roll bets, so you either win or lose. In the middle, we have the hard ways. The hard way means numbers that have the same numbers on each dice, so only even numbers, obviously. How these bets win is when they are made the hard way. How they lose is when they are made the easy way, meaning two different numbers are added up to make the same number, or a seven is rolled. So a hard eight would be a four and a four, and in our example, an easy eight would be a six and a two. But one thing to note: there are thirty-six dice combinations, and there is only one way to make a hard number. Now you know the basic knowledge of how to play the game. Next, we'll show you how payouts and odds work on the pass line and place bets. Payouts. 
So this is important. Payouts are closely tied to the statistical probability of the outcome of the dice. When you make a pass line bet, the casino allows you to increase your chances of winning with an even wager called odds. So when the point is established, you can place extra money behind your pass line bet. This has a zero house advantage and should always be made when playing the pass line. For a six and eight, every five dollars in odds pays six back for a win. For a five and nine, every two you place in odds pays three back. And for four and ten, every one you place in the back pays you two. The last payout we will talk about are placing the numbers. If you don't want to wait for a point to be established, you can place four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. The casino takes a small cut out of the winnings and pays you closer to odds. For a four and ten, every five you bet pays nine back. There is more complexity with increased bets, but for starters that will work. For five and nine, every five dollar wagered pays seven dollars back. And for six and eight, every six dollars wagered pays seven back. The six and eight across the top is a better bet than the big six or big eight on the bottom. Well, now you've seen introduction to craps or dice. Now, while superstition may haunt this game, remember that each dice roll is independent from the previous roll. That means if you roll a seven 20 times, that does not affect the probability of the next dice roll. Keep that in mind. Sis Wizzy out. to play the payouts and play out how to pay play the payouts and odds on the pass line and place bets what that makes no sense we're not splitting these diapers crackers <laughs>